people love comics. Whether the comic featured superheroes, a love story, was horror or comedy, for kids, was a graphic novel or Japanese manga, people love them. Hi, my name is Mark Martinez, and I make comics, I'm a comic creator. Hi, uh, I'm Mom. I am the co-founder of the Los Angeles Women's Comics Creators League. I'm also a comic creator, artist, editor, and a project manager. And my work has been featured in uh, the Ladybug Anthology, I project managed the Secret Anthology, and I was also featured in the Glasgow uh, Comic Con Awesome Anthology in the UK. I had a comic story published in Chupacabras Extra, and I also just came out with my comic story Omit in the Secrets Anthology presented by the Comic Bug along with a few other great creators and I have myself published Superhero Comic Millennial, this is the mini one. So yes, that's what I do. What do you do? Thinking about how I'm gonna do a comic, I think of the writing as like the the architecture or like the foundation. If you could think of a comic as a human body, think of the writing as the skeleton. Like with that with the writing, you know, you you can't just have the skeleton. You can won't be able to move or do cool things, but you can't really have a body without pretty good writing or, or a pretty good story structure, uh, the fundamental foundations of what the story is going to be. Very similarly to how, how films and, and TV shows are made. TV shows and movies, they have this whole crew. You have maybe like 50 or or 100 people working on a movie, but with comics, it's, it's much more intimate. If you have a story like I went to the market. You would think, okay, you break that down into panels. So it's like you're your bed or something. You get up, you know, you need food, and then you draw, you know, the process of that what I just described. So you get up, and then you put that into pages or maybe online. And yeah, after that, that's the easy part. The hard part is selling it because you have to get strangers to buy your things. Um. So. The Los Angeles Women's Comics Creators League, also known as the Ladybugs, were a safe space for women to come together and to hang out, make comics. Uh, we're open to both comic creators and comic enthusiasts. Uh, we just kind of came out of the sense that when we would go to uh, comic book spaces like comic book shops, comic book conventions, as women, we weren't really respected. Uh, I realized that. I really wanted a space to talk to women about this, to hang out with other women and be like, I don't like what I'm seeing in comics. How can I change it? How can I engage in this industry that seems hostile to, to women? And so that's when, when I reached out to friends on Facebook, um, there really wasn't a group like that. So me and my friend Nicole Robinson, also known as Mostaki, she's up in Portland. She actually started the PDX crew, which is the Portland uh, comic creator group. Um, we decided to create the Ladybugs together and you know I think it struck a nerve. You know I think there was a real demand for this kind of group from creative women because I mean it's just hard sometimes to keep going and keep creating in an industry that well for a while it was really hard to find a cover in a comic book shop that didn't have a girl like with her tits and ass out just like oh my god i'm starfire come over here robin you know so yeah that's where we started so i'm part of this uh creative group in manhattan beach california at the comic bug um called the sketchy bug group and what it is is it's an artist collective artists and writers we come and it's its purpose is to improve um the artistic ambitions of the members. Like say some people want to make comics, some people want to write, some people just want to make art. And the whole the whole point of the group is to help people get better at what they're doing. Whether it is for fun or professional means that's not really our concern. It's just to help them get to a place where they want to be. And I feel uh, for me specifically it's helped me improve um, not just my writing and my art because I didn't I started out as a comic book writer I had no I was like yeah I can't I can't draw and then I started hanging out with these people and they've, they've helped me get better it's really a supportive and encouraging environment and I think that's really important for any kind of community um, in terms of being supportive and encouraging so yeah it's it's 
good. It's good fun. I recommend it. Go start a community. Go make comics. Go make things. Oh, oh hi. If you're all watching this documentary, please ask Risa about buying my comics. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs>